Debbie Donald is one amazing woman. She has over overcome more than a few challenges in her life, and she's done it with courage and with grace. She's an artist and so much more. Painting is very important to me. It gives me a sense of self-worth and self-esteem. And I would never have dreamt years ago when I first started it looked like kindergarten work that I could do what I'm doing today. Hey. When I was 17, I dove into the wrong end of the swimming pool, thinking it was 10 feet and it was only two feet. So I was instantly paralyzed from my neck down. Nobody had survived a C12 injury in the 70s, so they really didn't know what to do with me. That's why they didn't think for the longest time, even after three days, they called my family. I, could, I just could die any time. And I started to get better, and this seemed like I was going to live. The, the doctor said, well, you know, here's a TV, be happy sort of thing. I'm not a TV person. And uh, I thought there's got to be more to life than watching television. So I had my sister put a pen in my mouth, and. Uh, I started signing thank you cards, and, and I would draw little mice in the corner. And I sent one to my doctor, and he said, she could do something, wow. So I knew a friend that had mentioned about the Association of Mouth and Painting Artists, and so I applied for a scholarship with them. I had a special easel, easel design for me, and uh, um, I paint with uh, a brush in my mouth. Uh, right now, I rely on volunteers a lot to help me. With uh, holding the palette, I mix the colors myself. And of course, I do the painting myself. The association has now taken my, my um, recreation, which is still my recreation, and turned it into a livelihood for me. And that's very important to me because now I feel a part of society, not a burden on society. I first got involved sailing through a friend of mine that uh, had uh, told me about were these boats that were specially designed for persons with disabilities. My first question was, could it capsize? That was my main concern, am I going to end up in the lake? For somebody with my disability, we have what's called the auto helm. Windless Super Pass system. The auto helm has to go back. What it does, it allows me to sail the boat myself. I sit. And it moves the rudder going to starboard, which is right. Up the other way, port is left. Light down. A little bit, not much. Now will bring the sails. Zip, bring the sails in. Roll the sails will work. I'm now president of, of the sailing club, and, and it's my goal, an important goal to me, is to make sailing available for everybody with disabilities. Just being able to get out of your wheelchair and into a boat. Nobody knows that you're disabled out there. The boat, ironically, that I sailed the most the first year I started sailing was named Freedom. And I thought, how appropriate, because it just, you feel limitless out there, like there's nothing you can't do. And you just feel just free. I can hardly wait to see what she's going to tackle next.